And so he says that this is what I learned from the Prophet. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam often used to teach the, the children, uh, specifically Hassan and Hussein radiallahu an du'as and ad'iyah and different uh, supplications. So Hassan says that I learned from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Da'ma ila ma la A very important hadith. Which is applicable in all masail where there are where there is ikhtilaf or difference of opinion between scholars. That da'ma yuribuk ila ma la yuribuk. Da'li ma yuribuk, that which doubts you. But what do you opt for? What do you take? Take that which there is no doubt in. When you hear two contradicting views, take the ones that's safer if you can't make the judgment. If you can't make the thought, take the view and opinion that's safer. Da'ma yuribuk ila ma la yuribuk. But it doesn't mean that because we opted for the safer view, now we go out and tell everyone that this is a safer view. No, there's a difference of opinion. We have to understand that there's Messiah, there's, there's 50 narrations, there's hadith, there's verses. When we say, for yourself, be the best person you can be. Practice the most safest view. And for, the, uh, for others, as much as possible, make ease, if there is room for ease. If there is room for ease. In a riwayah and a narration in Tirmidhi, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, that a man will only attain the, the, the darja and the class of taqwa, a man will only attain taqwa if he leaves some of those things that are even permissible for him. That a man leaves even things that are permissible for him. Only then a man will attain the darja of or the class of taqwa. So Hassan bin Ali radiallahu says that leave that which doubts you for that thing which is not doubt. فَإِنَّ الصِّفَّةُ مَأْنِينَةٌ because sirf and truthfulness is tumatnina. It gives katmina. It gives comfort to the heart. You lie to someone. For the rest of your life, or, or as long as you're near him, you're going to be making dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this guy never catches me. A person who always lies in a constant state of fear. So Rasulullah said that the sirf is tumatnina. It gives katmina, it gives peace, it gives tranquility to the heart, also tranquility from the adab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wal kadiba riba, and wa min wa kadib, and lying, and cheating is riba. It always has some sort of, it, it, it may, and uh, doctors even say that when a person lies, there's chemicals that are released in a person's body. There are chemicals that are released in a person's body that can be very harmful for him. So, we have both here, Sayyid. Can you give us an example on the previous, the man, I'll also in the previous statement you said, uh, if you give us an example to clarify it. Which one? About uh, the stuff you have doubts with. Did you... Leave that which has doubt for that which does not have doubt? No, you made a statement for this last statement about... Uh, in the, in the, in the, I lost. Like if you have doubts between two contra con contradicting views, choose the simple one. Is that the one you're saying? There's one after that, one statement, I lost it. I could not understand what he meant by it. There's like a lot here. It's in that, I should have asked the question right away. And a third is the third hadith, hadith number 56, the third in this chapter, Anabi Sufyan. Sadr ibn Harb, radiallahu anhu. في حديثه الطويل في قصة في قصة إيراد. There is a very lengthy hadith he even says in this very lengthy hadith of when Abu Sufyan رضي الله عنه before he accepted Islam when he was in a Roman area and in Heraclius or Hercules was the emperor of that time. So قال إيراد this person said this emperor said فماذا يأمركم يعني النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم what happened was, was that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi sent a message to the Roman Emperor as there were two superpowers of the world at that, time, at that time, the Persian and the, the Roman. So when this king received the letter, he, uh, he made an announcement. He said that, is there anyone in my territory that knows this prophet who claims to be a Nabi and a prophet? So Abu Sufyan, before he accepted Islam, this was, and some of the Quraysh were called to the, to the castle, to the court. And what the king did was that he placed Abu Sufyan in the front and he put all his other companions, the rest of the Quraysh, behind some curtains. 
And he said that I'm going to ask this person questions and then you ask the people behind your questions. If they match, then it's all good. If they don't, then we know something is wrong. So anyways, um, this Roman emperor, he asked Abu Sufyan that what does your Nabi tell you to do? What is the order? What, what is this deen that he has brought? فَمَاذَا يَأْمُرُكُمْ يَعْنِي النَّبِيَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ قَالَ أَبُوْ سُفْيَانِ Abu Sufyan said, and it's not mentioned here, but in Bukhari is mentioned, that he said, and he told the people after, that I swore I would have lied if there weren't people behind me. I was scared that these people, they would ask him something else and they would give a different reply. So the safest thing here is to say the truth. So, so Abu Sufyan said, that Rasulullah he ordered us that Abdullah he he commands us to worship Allah Wahdan by Himself, and not to subscribe partners with Him. And leave what your forefathers told you, uh, has said to you. Here he's going to give the core of, uh, of Islam. He orders us to pray salah. Was sif and he orders us to be truthful. He orders us to be. Truthful. And he orders us to be free from all types of things that would that would make a stain on you. And he orders us that any family ties that we have broken, we should join them back together. Now if you look at this hadith here, when he's giving us the core of Islam, there are some things Abu Sufyan mentions that that mankind even looks up to. Was Sida. Someone has broken a family tie with you, you go and fix it. Wal afaf. And was sif. So it's not only salah, Abu Sufyan didn't say orders to make to do zakah, the Haji Mino, the Fandiya, what came much after. But he gave us some core things that every every person should look up to.